الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين نبينا محمد عليه وعلى آله أفضل صلاة وتم تسليم ثم ما بعد I'm here on this clip to uh, explain something from the Sunnah of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم which is related to tahara and ablution and being ready for salah as we all know that uh, our Islam is alhamdulillah wide and uh, feel flexible enough to, to serve us when we need some exemptions or we need uh, uh, to, to, uh, to be ready for our salah. Our topic today is uh, talking about uh, wiping on the high neck uh, footwear, which can be a boot, which can be uh, socks, all those uh, footwears which are covering the ankle can be wiped on uh, while uh, being prepared for salah instead of washing the feet. And that sunnah, that kind of sunnah, that type of sunnah, that part of sunnah was narrated uh, from uh, ulama of, of hadith. So in the Sahihain, in Al Bukhari and Muslim, it was narrated that Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu an uh, went to you went to urinate then he came back and then uh, made his ablution and did not take off his footwear and wiped on them and his companions saw him and told him is that allowed are you okay are you doing this the, the, the correct thing he said I saw Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam doing the same thing and in another hadith which was narrated by Al Mughir ibn Shu'ba radiallahu anhu, that he said, uh, I was with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you were during the travel, and I was serving him while he was uh, doing his wudu, his ablution. And uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he reached his foot where he, he stopped me from taking it off, and he asked me to, uh, uh, to stop there because he will wipe it because. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he uh, wore that while he was on Tahara. Okay, now, in another hadith was narrated in Sahih ibn Hibban and Sunan Abi Dawud radiallahu anhum wa rahimahum jami'an, saying that we were commanded to uh, wipe on our socks, on our footwear, three days and nights while, while traveling, and one night and one day, while uh, being in, uh, in, in our hometowns. Okay, now that's a kind of flexibility that is, is in Islam and showing the kindness and, and the beauty of Islam, alhamdulillah. Now, there are some conditions that we need to know before applying that sunnah. The first one is that we need to wear our footwear on full purity or fuel ablu full ablution that that our ablution is is okay then we will wear those those socks those footwear then we can wipe on them when we need to uh, re uh, renovate or we need to do our wudu again uh, that footwear sh should cover all the feet from toes until the ankles so it's not permissible to have some footwear which is short showing the ankles then we will wipe on that no that's not allowed the third thing is that footwear should be really sticking and 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 uh, uh, utilizing I mean uh, coming on all the feet for us to wipe on it. If it is loose, it's not really fitting the feet, it's not uh, permissible to wipe on them. Number four is that the garment or the fabric made of the, the, the footwear should be halal, shouldn't be uh, dirty in its substance like uh, uh, pig uh, skin or something that it's not allowed to wear and the, th the last condition of the, of the footwear it should be really not showing although Shaykh al-Islam bin Taymiyyah and other ulama said it is okay to wear some footwear which is showing the feet and to wipe on them now the last thing is to know or to study how to wipe on that footwear Ali said, 
if the uh, if our religion was taken by uh, thought or by people's minds, uh, wiping the lower part of the the, the feet will be. Uh, more important than wiping the upper part, which means that wiping is only on the upper part. And then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad, that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to wipe on the upper parts of his footwear. And that's what uh, we have today about this topic. May Allah uh, accept our deeds and accept our tahara and accept our salah. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Uh, this clip was brought to you by the Cooperative Office of uh, Guidance and Awareness of uh, Northern Riyadh. And uh, I am Abdurrahman al Mudhi. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Maktab al Dawat wal Irshad wa Tawiyat al Jaliyat bi Shamal al Riyadh. Nahnu bikum.